Welcome back to Degrees of Separation, the puzzle platformer where you play as elementals. I'm Lydra, and let's get started. As always, important moments will be timestamped in the description box below in case you want to skip ahead to a particular moment. The Scorched Mountains. Another world stretched out before them, more fierce than the castle. Fire and electricity filled the air, almost vibrating, and before them, a fallen meteor consumed their vision. Interesting. Alright, well, I know that I said on my last episode that I was going to explore a little bit more of- Oh my god, did you see the colors on that? Oh. I also love the purple in this, uh, is it Heather, these flowers? Oh, this world is going to be pretty. A meteor, and within, the troubling orb, blazing bright, so bright as to be painful. All right, uh, can I just do that whenever I want? Whoa! Even the ground shook at the impact when they touched, shattering the rock around them, and ahead of them. Whoa, okay. Still reeling from the change, the two came upon an ancient gatehouse. Oh my god, um, I'm not sure how to stop this ore from exploding us apart. Um, but I think we actually need to go back and, uh, get an explosion happening over this rock here. So let's try it and make that happen. Oh, I see. If we're too close, it just goes. Okay. Well, we were able to trigger it this time with E. Um, so this might be a thing where it's like on or off. Uh, so let's see. I think I just turned it off. Whoa! No, I didn't. Um, okay. Um, oh my god, this is, this is ridiculous. This is legit ridiculous. Uh, let's jump over here and try to press E again while it's building. No, it doesn't seem like it works. Okay, so I think we just need to stay kind of far apart from each other. Uh, this is this is really awkward. <laughs> um, definitely a more direct metaphor for relationships. Let's see, can Ember just, like, reach that? Rhyme and Ember struggle to know when to give each other space and when to dare contact. Yeah. Ah, okay. Um, <laughs> it's very nerve-wracking to just have, like, an explosion happen just kind of randomly. Um, like, I just want Ember to just jump normally, but I'm, like, terrified. Okay, so I think... We've got an air vent coming down, so I think we need to actually have um, the explosion happen. So let's try it. Oh, no, it actually did nothing. Okay, I think that's because we actually need Rhyme up on top of this platform to call the air vent. So I think part of the trick on this one is going to be uh, getting the timing right because we're gonna have to move very quickly um so i think actually what we need is for ember to be on the other side of rhyme so we're gonna have to find a way to get them um repositioned here we go and so now ember is going to just run up really quickly and lift the platform Ooh, okay maybe not um let's see rhyme I need Rhyme to bring the platform down for just a minute. Then he's going to need to climb onto it, and Ember's going to need to be able to lift the platform really fast uh, without causing an explosion. Mm. This is going to be tough, you guys. Alright, so I think the explosions happen more quickly if I 
bring them together too fast. So, Rhyme's just gonna leap up here. Oh no, okay. We're gonna let the explosion calm for just a second. Give it a moment, and then Ember's gonna come over. Ah! Okay. Um, I'm probably gonna have to cut a bunch of this, you guys, because this is legit crazy. So the plan is just to have Ember and Rhyme both hang off of the edges of the platform um, as it's moving. All right, so we're just gonna have Rhyme jump on top of this platform and then try to detonate. And we're just gonna see what happens. Yes, okay, finally. Well then, let's go ahead and move forward. A tunnel ran beneath the ground, but a great path of stone blocked the way downwards. The two kept an uneasy distance, unsure of the new energy between them. Nope, okay. So, Rhyme is going to move upwards over oh you know what maybe i need to have one of them on each side let's try that yeah okay there we go so now we're going to bring them down and i think we have another one to break yes okay so now we have a scarf uh rhyme will move up so that ember can collect it um i admit that <laughs> I really hate this new mechanic. <laughs> like, so frustrating. Um, I do think it's probably a little bit easier to manage in a two-player game, um, though maybe I'm wrong about that. Many feet had marched through here. Boots, soldiers, marching to war. But against what? All right, so we're going to have Ember jump up over Rhyme and try to propel herself with the explosion. Ahead of them, they could see great fissure in the rock, caused by explosions long ago. Meteor impacts? Mining? Both? Let's just check our scarf progress. Looks like we've got everything so far. That's good. An excavation site, hollowed from the rock, to mine ore and then shape it. Into weapons, perhaps. All right. So I think I need to just climb this with the other following me so Ember can go up, Rhyme will follow, and then Ember's going to just use the explosion to propel herself across. Perfect, that worked exactly how I hoped it would. Even as their attempts at connection pushed them apart, it still allowed progress, but the effect was becoming increasingly maddening. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Like, I'm not, I'm not sure I'm gonna last this level. Great quarries. Or had been here once, perhaps from meteors long ago, now excavated in great amounts. <laughs> this effect is so infuriating. They climbed in silence. Neither seemed eager to wait for the other. Definitely a good metaphor for relationships in certain situations. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try to use these two platforms to propel myself up to that scarf. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have Rhyme jump over onto this platform. And then I think I actually am going to need to have um, Ember follow behind him. And he's going to probably need to jump as the effect goes into place. Or Ember can do it. Perfect. Okay. Um, that was a little bit random. The supports here look unsteady and blackened, as if by fire and war. That was a little bit of a random effect, but uh, I'm not worried about that. Uh, so we do have one more scarf here. Let's go ahead and have... A king's statue stood here in effigy. It was his realm the absent king had come to conquer. All right, so let's have Ember jump here. Uh, and then I think Rhyme can just leave. <laughs> oh no, okay. 
Well, um, I'm going to need to figure this out then. Unless maybe I can use this as just enough of a boost. Let's see. We're going to try. No. Okay. It's not going to be good enough. So we're going to have uh, Rhyme come back onto this platform. Um, you know, it's actually a pretty slow moving platform. So maybe what I need to do is actually have Ember lift the platform. And then Rhyme can get on this rope while Ember moves here. And then Rhyme can jump down over Ember. Jump on this while Ember joins him. Oh, yes, of course, she can't join him. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I think the goal was to have Rhyme be able to jump onto the secondary platform very quickly. Uh, so we're going to have Rhyme jump onto this rope here and climb it so he's a little bit away from Ember. Um, and then Ember's going to go ahead and lift this, giving Rhyme plenty of time, and then he will jump down over Ember, jump up over this. Okay, so it's not quite good enough. We're going to go ahead and try this one more time this way. So it looks like Ember does actually need to be the one on this platform. Um, so I think we'll just see if I can get Rhyme over fast enough. Huh, it doesn't look like it. Um, I wonder if I can lower this platform a little bit just by uh, jumping off of it and then having Rhyme use the explosions to keep her um, in the air. So let's go ahead and give that a shot. All right, so Rhyme is going to come down and Ember will jump over. All right, so I think actually what I need to do is use this rope. So I'm going to have Ember climb all the way to the top of the rope to keep the platform up and then Rhyme can jump over and onto the platform as it moves past. And then at this point, I think Ember can join him. I just wasn't thinking fully about the environment. And now I think Rhyme will move closer to the edge. And then as the explosion forms, uh, hopefully we can get him to jump forward. So I think it's just, we just gotta keep bouncing him off of the explosion. Perfect. As to why he came to conquer, they both felt they knew the answer. The ore. All right, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and move upwards with Ember following, hopefully at a safe distance. At the top, they spied a gatehouse, shelter up the road. But before they could reach it, the sky became lit with fire and light. They took refuge as the stars rained down outside. Yet they feared to stand too close in the narrow structure. All right, so we're going to go ahead and have Rhyme try to boost up. Oh, we have a rope over here. So we're going to have Rhyme grab that rope. Oh, interesting. That actually lowers the platform, which doesn't seem beneficial. Um, I must be wrong about that, obviously. Oh, you know what? I think that releasing the rope will allow for the explosion to cause a greater boost. So I'm going to go ahead and have Ember jump over to be right above Rhyme. Yes. Okay, perfect. I mean, this effect is like absolutely maddening, but it is pretty interesting. 
Um, so the next one... Below the gatehouse lay what may have once been a moat. The waters were still, disturbed only by their passage. Alright, so... We don't want to get them too close. Um, I think I'm going to have Ember run up over here, and then Rhyme can come... Ooh, he can't make it down the water. Okay, so I think the trick on this one is going to be uh, making sure that they're positioned perfectly, despite the fact that they can't get close for very long. Um, so we're going to try to jump Ember over Rhyme. Oh, come on. Uh, Ember, you're going to run forward and just, just jump for it. You got to go. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to need Ember to get into this water, but we do need Rhyme to calm that vent, which I'm a little worried about. Um, so I think the way to do that is actually to have Rhyme move forward and to try to run really, really fast with Ember. Mm, that's not going to work. Okay, so... Let's see... Um, it is possible that there's something below that would allow Rhyme to calm the vent, so I'm gonna go ahead and move him down and just see what is happening in the environment over here. Oh no, this is very deep. Um, I think... I will save that for later, and for now, uh, maybe actually what I need to do is move Rhyme super close in behind Ember uh, and push her forward. Perfect. Okay. Um, so let's let's move on down. All right, so uh, Rhyme can't move over the water any further. It doesn't really look like there's another area. Maybe someone had hid down here? Air blew in from the crevice above. All right, so I think probably some of these pulleys will allow Ember to uh, let Rhyme in, probably. Oh, I see. So this gate is controlled by uh, heat, so we actually can let Rhyme in that way. So Ember's just going to climb up, and then I think the next thing is going to be figuring out how to uh, keep this gate in summer so that it will lift, because it looks like that's how this one works. Oh, maybe not. Um, well, I think we need to just have Rhyme jump on that rope here, so we'll focus on that. And what does that get for us? It actually doesn't look like it gets us anything. Um, this is not a platform here. Uh, maybe what we need to do is have... Rhyme and Ember explode from a distance. So if Rhyme steps up here and then Ember is here and Rhyme just like tries to land on top of her and explodes forward. Mm, that didn't work at all. Hmm, let's... Let's take a minute to think about this one. It doesn't seem like an accident that that platform is perfectly suited for uh, climbing onto. So we'll go ahead and leave that there. I do think, obviously, an explosion of some kind is going to be the answer. Um, but I'm kind of wondering, actually, if... The goal is really to have Ember explode up onto the rope where Rhyme is, because Rhyme will be able to help the explosion from a, a greater distance. Uh, so 
Let's go ahead and give this a shot. We're going to have Ember push Rhyme up. And Rhyme is going to actually climb over to the other side. And then he's going to go ahead and just drop down to here, which will allow Ember to jump up here and hopefully to jump over to land on the rope. Okay, so we're going to have her drop down and jump up here. Perfect. Oop, don't fall off, Ember. We really need you to stay up. No. Okay, well, we're going to give that a shot because I really think that that's going to be the answer. All right, so I'm not going to bore you guys with me failing a dozen times, so we're skipping ahead. Oh, you know what? I just had an idea. Okay, so what if Rhyme stands on this platform here while Ember explodes him upwards onto it? And then what if Ember was to come down and explode him forward? She could just drop through this chute. Um, Rhyme will maybe just tell her to follow him. Oh no, okay. Um, she's obviously going to... Okay, so I think the timing on this one is going to be really tricky. Um... Oh no! Alright, so we're just going to drop Rhyme down the chute. And Ember is going to explode forward. Perfect. Oh my god. I am so relieved to finally get that one. Uh, it was not easy. Uh, I think I did that one about mm, three dozen times. Uh, <laughs> um, this, this explosion mechanic is really, really difficult to play with. Uh, and I, I do think it would be a little bit easier to play, but probably not a lot easier, especially cause, uh, because in two-player you're also going to need to coordinate and communicate really well. Alright, so moving onward. Great mining platforms were erected here, sagging under their load. Okay, so I kind of want to check out what these um, ropes do. So I'm going to go ahead and try to explode Rhyme onto them. Let's see. Um, we'll just bring Ember forward a little more. Oh no, okay. Um, oh, I see. There's a scarf over to the edge, so... That's good, for sure. Um, let's just see if we can call Rhyme forward enough to explode. There we go. Oh. Okay. Um, let's see. Ember will bring this up. Okay, perfect. So I think Rhyme can now jump on that. Um, and then I think we'll have him hang back a little bit, and Ember's going to try to use this to propel her forward. Oh, well she got over, but uh, not onto the platform the way we would have hoped. Oh, and they both fell off. That sucks. Okay, well... Yeah, sometimes when you fight, it only causes more problems for both of you. Let's get ready to do this again. We're just going to have Rhyme here. Ember's going to be... Okay, we're just going to actually take Ember and jump over Rhyme. Or actually, you know what? Okay, Rhyme will stand here, and then Ember will just jump over him. 
or Ember will stand there and Rhyme will jump over her and just try perfect. Okay, so now Rhyme will jump over to the other rope and bring it down and Ember will... Oh! No, no, no. Rhyme, stay up, stay up. Okay. Um, and now we're going to switch elementals and Ember is going to jump up onto the rope. Um, I'm actually going to try bringing, like, calling Ember up and see if uh, the explosion that forms actually... Maybe I can have Rhyme jump forward. Okay, that didn't work quite how I wanted, but that's okay. The rope is still down, so... Maybe what I actually need to do is I need to bring one of the elementals back onto the other rope. And try to trigger the explosion forward. Perfect! Oh, my landing was exactly right. Okay, there we go. Oh, finally. It's such a relief when your fight is over, right? Um, okay, well, I still need Rhyme to join me, so we're going to call him over. Um, and now Ember can just run along at the bottom of the pool. Shadows in the water below revealed the hint of armor, weapons. Yet the king seemed oblivious atop his pedestal in the flooded cavern. All right, so I'm going to try to jump onto those ropes. Uh, let's see, what's the best way to go about that? I think maybe if Ember stands here and then Rhyme just jumps right here on top of her. Oh, interesting. So the water actually creates like, oh, maybe it doesn't. Um, they just weren't quite close enough. Um, maybe what I do is I position Ember directly below the rope and then I have her boost rhyme up. Interesting. Okay, that didn't work quite as well as I'd hoped. Um, I'm gonna have Ember here, and then I'm gonna have Rhyme jump over her, just like that. Perfect. Okay, so now we're basically just hoping that this is um, not <laughs> solid, which of course it is. Um... All right, well, let's just move forward through the cave and see if there's anything on the other side we need to think about. They came upon a great bridge, the blade of a statue of an ancient warrior. The blade pointed back the way they came. The warrior's eyes were closed, his head downcast. All right, well, that's obviously forward, so we're going to go ahead and see if there's actually a way up. It seems vaguely possible that I would be able to move upwards somewhere, so I just want to check that out really fast. Maybe not. Uh, the signposts are indicating just a way forward, so I think we must have everything that we need here in this cave to solve the puzzle. Uh, the question is just going to be how. This is solid, so it looks like there'll be a point at which I'll be able to jump over it towards the top of it. Um. And I can't do my running across ice trick, partly because of the explosions and partly because or because of these uh, things in the ice. So let's go ahead and try to get Ember onto this rope. And then maybe what I can do is actually have Ember jump down and propel herself forward onto the next rope. So let's try that. Ugh. Well, I think that was actually a good call. I'm going to try that. Um, I think that's going to be the solution. And Ember can jump forward, and then we'll have Rhyme stand just right here. Have Ember jump forward. Perfect. Okay, and so now I think that... Um, 
Ooh, this one's going to be tricky. Uh, so Ember's going to be able to jump down over this, but then she's going to have to successfully... Um, get through this area. We're just going to give it a shot. We're just going to try our best. Um, okay. Well, maybe that's a thing where I have to bounce off of Rhyme one time. Uh, so, I definitely think we found the solution. It's just a matter of executing upon it. It's just, it's hard to decide exactly where Ember should be positioned, but let's go ahead and say here. Oh! Oh, do you guys see that? Ember, Ember's like on this little island thing. Oh, so maybe I need to get a rhyme to jump over Ember and bounce up to the scarf. Oh my god, finally! Oh! Oh, oh my god, that took so long. Um, well, I'm really glad that I finally figured that out. <laughs> um, now we can, now we can move forward. Uh -huh. The starkness of their worlds, one of frost, one of bright fire, never seemed more apparent than on that bridge. I, this is a really cool uh, environmental design. Like, I love this bridge. Uh, it kind of makes you, like, wonder, you know, in the world, like, what happened to make them decide to put that in. They came upon more signs of a fallen kingdom, brought low by fire and war, against an unknown enemy. The graves and fallen stones seem to taunt them, above the water and below. Alright, so I think this one Ember's gonna jump over Rhyme and bounce up to the ledge. Yeah, I mean, that definitely looks like the answer. We just gotta get it timed right. Hmm. Oh, I see. Actually, it's not the answer. Uh, that area is blocked. So how would we go about causing an explosion that might bump Rhyme up. Um, right? We can bump Rhyme up a little bit, but it just doesn't seem like quite enough of a boost. Let's try it one more time. Mm, no, not enough. Um, let's go ahead and just see how much I could boost Ember forward by jumping over Rhyme. Or actually, maybe this is a situation for that follow idea that I had earlier, where I have Ember tell Rhyme to follow her, and then she like bounces forward very slowly. Uh, not too fast, Ember. Making progress. Just patience. Okay, well... Uh, that seemed like it was working for sure, so I'm going to go ahead and continue trying that. So, Ember, jump over and hit follow. Okay, just a little further forward. Careful, careful. I think part of it is that I need to be moving forward on the downward moment. Ah, oh, that was a rush. The ore had been mined and used as a weapon here. The craters in the land, the splintered trees. It was traces of the ore used by human hands. I think this is actually a good place to end it for today, so I hope you'll subscribe and join me next time. <laughs>